It's almost like a movie scene. Everything happened just one, one thing after the other. But it was real. A carjacking and wild pursuit ends with a crash and gunshot. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 10. I'm Ellis Michelson. And I'm Christine Devine. A dangerous and destructive pursuit turns into a standoff. The carjacking suspects, though, not giving up. Deputies open fire. Fox 11's Ed Lascos live with more from the Harvard Heights area where this all ended. Ed. Yeah, it ended here, and that eyewitness saying it looked like something out of a Hollywood movie, but this certainly the real deal. Just getting an update from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department a few moments ago. The suspected carjacker shot by the deputies. He is still alive this late hour, listed as critical, but the scene here is still a major crime scene. Joe, give you a quick look around. This is the, the corner of Vermont and Venice through the sea of red flashing lights there. You can make out that dark Toyota. That's the one the suspected car driver led deputies. Hour-long pursuit, sideswiping a couple of vehicles, attempting to ram a couple of the, of the deputies black and white cruisers and then it ends here dramatically with gunfire watch this the violent ending to a dramatic pursuit a suspected carjacker up against the light pole on the sidewalk pinned in by the sheriff deputies but he is still not giving up revving his engine smoking his tires apparently trying to ram the deputies they feel the threat and open fire it was my first time hearing live shots, so it was uh, very scary. Um, but also, I, when I got off my car, I seen like a few cops kind of like locked in arms, that protective shield, because I think the, the, the person inside the car may have also had a gun. Gunfire blasting out the back window of the gray Toyota. The bullets even ripping through the windshield. The suspect inside, he's hit. He's pulled out of the bullet-ridden car and rushed to the ER. His condition unknown as the sidewalk is turned into a pool of blood after bullets fly. It's very loud. Um, I can't compare it. It's almost like a movie scene. Everything happened just one, one thing after the other. Yes, yeah, the car like just drove by me, but I thought it was just any other car. I didn't think that it was a persecute. A dangerous pursuit that ran for an hour from East L.A. to here at Harvard Heights, closing Vermont and Venice, one of the busiest intersections in the city. It's taped off and shut down for hours, leaving evening commuters caught right in the middle of this mess. Well, I was just driving around trying to look for a place to eat um, and just casually just waiting for the light, just like everyone else. So it's one of those days. <laughs> One of those days, she says, now you're looking live. There's the, the Toyota, the windows all blown out by the gunfire. Four deputies opening fire, and miraculously, when you think about it, busy area over here, lots of bystanders, lots of moving traffic. You've got four deputies opening fire. Miraculously, no one hit by the gunfire. The suspect, the only one hit, and again, still alive, listed as critical this late hour. For now, we are live here at Harvard Heights. Back to the west side we go. 